this lamp is casting light without channeling spirits. Hmm. Perhaps that cable is somehow conveying luminescent energy to that lamp. How could they have possibly built a city this size without using spirit arts? It's almost frightening. It's a whole different world, but the people are just like us. It looks to be that way. Oh, it is you! I'd never forget what these feel like! Stop it, Tipo. Let go. No, it's what you get for making us worry. That's right. I want a hug, too. Leave some room for me. Even you, Leia? <laughs> no point trying to fight it. <laughs> Fine. I surrender. I'm sorry for what I put you all through. That includes you, Alvin. Uh, I... that's really not necessary. No need to be coy. Ormila won't let you into the group hug. What, you plan on joining in, too? I don't mind. Very well, then. And... I'm out. Is it really you? Do I look like someone else? No. You're Mila, all right. And yourself? You seem different from last I saw you. Really? A little bit. Looks like you grew up without me. Could be. It doesn't change who I am, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again. Same to you. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to Days of Syndia. Today, what are we going to do? Ah, oh, baby. What are we going to do, baby? Baby. I know, but... seems to be just like us. Except for the part where none of them can channel spirits. Wow. This city sure is strange. Yeah, I feel like there's something missing. Human spirit. There's no nature. Indeed. I haven't spied a single blade of grass, let alone a tree. Is it because they're using Spyrex? More likely because there aren't any spirits. Exactly. As the spirits became scarce, all signs of nature withered with them. Olympias is in its death throes. So this world needs spirits. What was that? Alvin, what does that poster say? Support the Otherworld Reactor Plan. They were probably put out by a union of Spyrex using merchants. It sounds like they're really dependent on Spyrex. You look like a deep-pocketed lot. Help us pull the plug on the Reactor Plan. Tell me, old-timer, 
Why do you need donations to stop the plan? Filing official protests with the government isn't free, you know. Phew! Did you take a bath in booze today? What's the deal with this doll? Count me in. I want to stop the other world reactor plan. Jude, wait. <laughs> Thank you, lad. Thank you. I wonder how Gaius intends to stop the plan. With Muse's power at his disposal, they could show up on this side at any moment. That's true. No point in moping around on an empty stomach. Balin should have that food ready by now. From the nature to the culture, everything on Olympia seems so different. This is your homeland, right, Alvin? Yep. The source of the Spyrix you hate so much. You don't sound too happy about it. Didn't you want to return here more than anything? Well, I thought I did. I wonder why I wanted to return to this doomed world. It is true that its spirits have withered and its plants and animals are disappearing. But Olympias isn't over yet. The people here brought this upon themselves by using Spyrix. You aren't even the real Maxwell. Do you really intend to save humans like that? Yes, this is a human problem. And as you know, I'm quite fond of humans. Whether I'm Maxwell or not is beside the point. <laughs> I see. Glad to hear it. 
So who are you? I can't stand to hear Balin prattle on like that. Really? I find him quite interesting. He's been that way since he was a kid. That's how I knew it was him right away. He's strange, hmm. but he's really nice. I know. Unlike me. Nobody's saying that. But watch yourself around him. He has quite a mean streak. Do something embarrassing and he won't ever forget it. He'll torment you with it till your dying day. Like what? If he told you half the dirt he had on me, I'd never be able to show my face around you again. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. <laughs> you guys seem really close. Well, I guess we were friends before he got all cynical. Oh. What's that? You jealous? Absolutely not. You don't know what you're talking about. Heading out? I'm off to Helioborg. I hear the results of some new Spyrex research just came in. Oh, right. You did say you were an engineer. Well, hey, Balin buddy! Where's our chow? I put together a real nice spread back in my apartment. Feel free to dig in. Thank you so much! If you don't mind me asking, where exactly did you find us? Hmm? Out past Helioborg, where I'm heading now. You were sprawled at the foot of the hill on the other side of the complex. Thank you. No problem. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Helioborg. Oh, the best for memories. Helioborg. So, what's everyone's plans from here on out? If we head to that spot Balin mentioned, we might be able to get back to Rize Maxia. Oh, I see. That's why you asked. Although, I'm not planning to leave until I find a way to help both Rize Maxia and Olympias. Is there any way we can help? Of course. I doubt I could figure things out alone. Just having you here would be a huge morale boost. We mustn't underestimate the circumstance, though. We must contend with Spyrex devices, the Otherworld Reactor Plan, and even Gaius. That's why you want us all to decide for ourselves. Try to head back home or figure things out here, huh? Wow, that's tough. Hmm. I realized something once we landed on this side. We can't eliminate Spyrex from Olympias. But we still need to get rid of the schism. It's a real conundrum. I want to figure out what I can do about this. Well, you know I won't agree to anything that hurts my own people. But we need to find something to help the spirits as well. I have something to say. If we can't eliminate Spyrex, then I will take the extra effort to watch over and protect the birth of new spirits, so their numbers stay intact. But that means... Spirits are another part of nature's cycle, just like humans. I will find a way to support them both. You sure about this? I've thought long and hard about this. Jude, if you're convinced that we can't get rid of Spyrex, then I won't argue. But we can't waste time debating this. We need to head to Heliobor. She's got a point. Any place working on Spyrex research is probably involved in the Otherworld Reactor Plan. Can I get answers from everybody by the time we get there? Okay. Mm. Is my role to offer support, or is it to lead? Alvin, was Pressa her real name? No. 
It was her alias as an Ajul spy. You and Pressa were friends, right? When she fell, why didn't you call her by her real name? Because I forgot it. I can't be expected to remember every little thing. <laughs> That's horrible! You really are a jerk! Why lie about forgetting her name? When Pressa was a kid, she was abandoned by her family. So she always hated the name they gave her. So that's why you... That's why nothing. When I couldn't grab her hand, I was everything they said and a whole lot worse. <sighs> what should I have done? <sighs> you should have saved May has been really sad recently. Is it about Agria? She oh, yeah. slapped Leia's hand away, this even though Leia yeah. was trying to save her. Why'd she have to be so cruel? A little cruelty won't kill Leia. She must have struck some sort of nerve in Agria. Some part of herself that she just couldn't let go. Why are you taking Agria's side? I'm not taking her side. I just understand her is all. I know what it's like to get trapped in a prison of one's own design. So what could we have done? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't have attacked you the way I did. But I do know one thing. Leia didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Obviously! Obviously! Obviously. Obviously. Obviously we're going to Helio War. No way. Tired? Uh, a little bit. Things aren't the same as they used to be. Hey, Elise, can we borrow Tipo for a sec? Huh? Give Tipo a squeeze. You'll feel better. Oh, this does feel good. Just the right amount of resistance. I could do this all day. No, stop! I can't take any more! Ah, all the stress has drained through my fingers. I know, right? It's crazy addictive. Oh no! He's gonna get all stretched out! Huh. I feel so violated. What's happening? Heliobork is under attack! What? You should turn around and leave. It's not safe here. I just don't understand why anyone would attack the Spyrix Research Center. What? Who's behind the attack? We have no idea. The attackers were using Calculatrix without Spyrixes. How is that even possible? What's that? Spirit Arts produced using Spyrixes. If the attackers didn't need them, I think we know who they are. Sounds like Gaius is already making his move. Let's go. I want to make sure Balin is safe. Don't get killed. Not yet. Not yet. Go, Chipo! Sharing is caring! My will shall lay our path. Oh, really? Oh, really, Mina? What a dreary land. <laughs> 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 
Doubt myself. Not yet. I still need to get better. Doubt myself. Just keeps getting better. shocking for the Olympians to see us using arts without Spyrex. Not so much shocking as terrifying. To us, it's <laughs> as if you have supernatural powers. But in a lot of ways, it's Spyrex technology that's more powerful. People fear what they cannot understand. That's why we're so quick to discriminate against other races and cultures. Alvin, were you scared when you first came to Rizamaxia? I was. The people seemed like monsters to me. And how do you feel now? Now? Uh, you know, some are good, some aren't. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> it sounds like young men from Olympias start out quite naive. <laughs> and old men are condescending no matter which world they come from. You owe me. Alright! Nice job! 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 Nice job!
I refuse to run away. by an impassable wall. Oh, I know. Rize Maxia and Olympias are about as far apart from each other as men and women are. An impassable wall? Does that mean we can never go home? I won't be able to see Drisel again? That's horrible. No, no, it'll be okay. After all, we're all together. You have Mila, Jude, Rowan, and even Alvin. You know they'll figure something out. That's true. You're here too, Leia! Yeah, but it's not like I'll be any help. That isn't true. When you're here, everyone's happier. Let's all go back to Rize Maxia together! Okay, it's a promise. <laughs> oh, that's some fine staffmanship. Huh. I'm still learning. I won't quit training till it's an extension of my body. Your dedication to your art is admirable. It puts mine to shame. Oh, I don't know about that. Now don't get all psyched up just because she praised you. <laughs> Whatever, I'm psyched! Yeah! Ow! My head! See? What did I just tell you? No, it really hurts. He'll be fine. Here, I'll take care of it for you. Hmm. Leia truly handles her staff well. But Jude handles Leia even better.
Where is everyone? A Spyrex casing? This looks like a storage space for Spyrexes, but the contents are destroyed. Did Gaius do this? Whoever it was leveled the larger facilities and warehouses, but left the other buildings intact. In other words, their goal is not an invasion or to wipe out the military. Mila, we should hurry and look for Balin. Right. I can't believe the size of this facility. like a city in and of itself. Are you okay? Thank you. I think I'll be okay now. This place seems deserted. Do you know where everyone went? Some people got out early. I don't know about the rest. It was pretty chaotic. Did you see the attackers? The soldiers hit us like a wave. They were led by some guy with a giant sword and a flying woman. Well, that settles it. That it does. They told us they'd destroy every last Spyrex, then they ordered us to retreat. Sounds like something he'd say. Wait, he can't be. Gaius must be planning to eliminate every Spyrex in the entire world. Just to stop the Otherworld reactor plan? Isn't that a bit extreme? No, it's a sound plan. Olympias' situation won't change as long as it has access to Spyrex. Even if the current plan is halted, someone else will eventually come up with something similar. By eliminating Spyrex, 
Gaius is going right to the heart of the two-world problem. Sounds like a lot of work. But if Gaius is anything, he's determined. Damn it. That puts Balin in danger. Excuse me. Do you know anything about someone named Balin? He's a Spyrex engineer. You might find him over in the Spyrite research wing. What? Officially, it's called the Military Research Wing, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Those freaks are probably still wreaking havoc over there. <sighs> I'm sure he's okay. Don't worry about me. You just worry about Gaius. Yeah, but still... You already have enough on your plate. Your job is to keep moving forward, remember? R right we don't have time to worry right now. The sappy stuff will have to wait. All right, thanks. So where's this military research wing anyway? Just ahead, if it's still standing. Be careful. You too. You sure you're gonna be okay? Save it, I'm fine. myself. I'll overcome anything. I'll handle 
handle this. Let's keep this up. to doubt myself. Yes. Yeah. 
Nice job, Alvin. You can finish them off. Sharing is caring. Good thing. All right. Nice one. Not bad. Okay, let's keep moving. I feel much stronger. find Balin or Gaius at this rate. Let's look somewhere else. Hold on. What is it? Uh, this confirms it. They created a spyrite with the information Exodus gave them. Something called Volt. Interesting. So Gilland really was trying to save Olympias with spyrites. What? According to this, that spyrite thing was powered about a half an hour ago. That sounds like it was one of the reasons for the chaos that transpired here. Where'd it go? I don't know exactly, but it looks like it went to one of the floors above us. What do you what? think? It might be worth checking out. Why do you say that? I don't have any proof, but I think Gaius might have activated it. If he did, we should find him nearby. But what would be his motive for using Spyrite? Yeah, I have what? the same question. I think it's important we get in contact with him. Jude, it's not that I don't want to meet him. But if Gaius is dead set on destroying all Spyrixes, I doubt he'll listen to anything we have to say. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If that's his plan, then I'll just have to stop it. You say that now, but we all know how much you respect him. Just as you respect Mila. Please, Rowan. There's no need for this. You sure you won't back down in front of your hero, kid? Hey! Jude doesn't need a lecture from you! Yeah! Who died and made you head <laughs> honcho? <laughs> it's okay. I do respect Gaius, but it doesn't mean I have to follow his path. I can create my own. Otherwise, I'll never make my own decisions. I won't grow up to be who I want to be. Well said. Yeah, boy.
Base's power went out. Let's proceed with caution. Not yet. I... Hey, 
Get off me. You can't hide there. Uh. What? What? Be careful here. What? What? That must be Volt. Yeah, but I but ah! anyone I else okay? 
Tethered. It appears to be a spirit that can control lightning. It doesn't seem to be tethered to a human the way Celsius was to Gillen. So you're saying it's out of control? Tethered. We won't get any answers until we calm it down. So much electricity. So much sound and light. So what? That's not enough to stop us. Demonic chaos! Now! Strike! Final fury! Reset it! Seven more! 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 Seven Okay, we finally stopped it. Everyone all right? Yes, somehow. All the electric shocks may have helped my blood circulation. Yes, all right. All right. I can't stop. I need more strength. I'm just... Never stop him. We finally beat some sense into it. Just another easy battle for yours truly. If we've learned anything from Celsius and Volt, it's that Spyrites are tough customers. They're just as strong as the Great Spirits. Guys. We were wondering when you chose. Interesting. I never expected to find you here. Are you guys so you've come to Olympus now? after all. I'm assuming you're the My one that God. activated Volt. I don't understand your motive, though. Were you testing its potential? Potential? I would never entrust my people's lives to something as tenuous as potential. I attempted to tether with a spyrite precisely because it is something you would consider. What? But it was for naught. Their power is far beyond human control. That leaves us with no choice but to eradicate every last spyrix from this world. So that really is your plan. Don't you realize what would happen? We would end the Otherworld Reactor Plan once and for all. Surely the People end justifies my means. What about the schism? We will leave it in place. As long as Spyrixes exist, the threat of but Olympia's exploding Lisa Maxia remains. And what of Maxwell? Do you plan to leave him where he is? It is the duty of the strong to ensure that the weak do not perish. This isn't right, Gaius! What about it isn't right? We will safeguard the schism until the last Spyrex nah, is destroyed. Bye, wait. Then, we shall unite the two worlds. What about all the people oh, who will suffer if you eliminate their Spyrexes? Are you just going to ignore them? Don't worry about the poor suffering humans. <laughs> Gaius will protect them. Jude, Mila. You of all the people should understand the ideals I'm striving for. Nah, 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 nah. What's the point of ideals if you force them on others? Don't you see what's happening? Spyrex is a necessity for these people. Take it away and they'll have nothing left. Jude. You talk only of possibilities. I demand certainties. So the way. Maybe you're right, but I can't give up. This conversation is pointless. Please, let's be off. Please, let yes, I suppose you're right. Please, let me off. Fine, what should I do now? In the end, I couldn't. No, there are still things we can do. There has to be. Hmm. 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 Huh. Bailey. Balin? Balin! Huh? Alfred! 
It appears the elevator stopped working when the power went out. We must find some way to get them out of there. Let's try climbing to the elevator. I've read Vaughn. Wait, we can use Vault. We can use Vault. Yeah, use Vault. Wait, you can't be serious. You're not planning on tethering with it, are you? Is that really wise? Maybe not, but it's worth a shot. Only way to find out is to try. <laughs> Volt, lend us your power. No way, it worked! It's still stuck. We need more power. Please, just a little more. It, ah! This must be the same backlash that hit Gilland. Give it up, Jude. Not yet! What are you doing? Why do you insist on doing such reckless things by yourself? <laughs> Look who's talking. Yeah, don't fall hey, Don't leave us behind now. If a task cannot be done alone, then we must simply do it together. Keep trying and something's bound to stick sooner or later. We want to help, too. Uh-huh. Thanks, everyone. Almost there. The power of okay. friendship. Now! Thanks for the save there. Balin, who are these people? They're patients. Each one of them has a condition that makes it impossible to live a normal life, even with Spyrexes. Wait, does that mean the next generation Spyrexes you've been researching are... Yep. Those little critters they're using are Spyrites. These creatures are Spyrites? They're so cute! But they don't seem any more powerful than lesser spirits. Of course not. They're lesser spirits by rights, after all. Hmm. Wait a sec. Are you telling me you don't know how spy rights are made? Do us a favor and assume we don't. Well, you should ask one of the other engineers if you want the full spiel. But in simple terms, you've all seen spirit fossils, right? If one of you Rizamaxia folks pours mana into one, voila, a spy right is born from it. How strange. I guess there's multiple uses to those fossils, huh? The only catch is you need a booster. What? Wait, did you just say booster? Yep. If someone with a booster pumps mana into a spirit fossil, the calculatrix art inside takes physical form. And that's how you make a spyrite. How are they different from spyrixes? It's a matter of art precision. These spyrites can be as precise as the Asperixis devices from back in the day. I didn't expect to hear that. Yeah, name. why? Uh huh. Too bad Asperixis devices consume spirits. Does that mean spyrites don't kill spirits when they're used? Pretty much. They're fueled by the mana stored inside spirit fossils, after all. One thing I don't understand. These people seem to have no trouble using spyrites. And yet, we struggle to tether with Volt. Spyrites made from great spirits are in a whole different league. The more powerful the base spirit, the lower the chances of a successful tethering. We're still just at a 50% success rate. Hey, but that's more than enough. At that rate, lesser spirit spyrites might completely replace regular spyrexes someday. Then people won't suffer and spirits won't die either. We did it. Great job, Tipo. Hey, what are pals for? Does this mean that Olympias' environment might recover too? It just might. Thank you, Balin. You have no idea how much this helps us. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. But we really should be thanking you. You're the ones who saved our research, after all. We did. If you hadn't saved us, all of our spyrite research would have gone up in smoke. Someday these people will be able to get on with their lives again. Something tells me this spyrite research is going to become very important. Looks like we found the path we've been seeking. Yeah. Although the fight's not over. Balin, 
Could you tell us the exact spot where you found us? Tell, guys. Oh, of course. I that. found you all collapsed at the end of Rusal High Road. You can reach the high road by following this passageway here. Now Gaius will have to listen to us, right? No. It's too late. I don't know why I know this, but that was our last chance to convince him. Okay. Oh, the hill where Balin found us was just past Helioborg oh, Fortress. Let's take a look. A... Maybe we'll find a clue that will help us get back. Yeah. So, Spudis would leave even if Spidexes. Alright, then I got Spidexes. They got Spidex. But that was it, guys. On the next episode. Yeah.